Hello everyone, my name is Ipoa and welcome back to the How to Train Your Dragon tier ranking. This is the last part in this series and today we will mostly be covering dragons that aren't exactly sorted into classes, they just... or just from overall lots of classes in general. Since we have about 10 dragons left until the end, let's just get started. Okay, this is the Windnasher, next one. Uh, with Nasher, we mostly see this dragon in How to Train Your Dragon 2. We don't really see any special individuals. Um, most of the things we know is that it is uh, it's a very agile dragon in the air. It's well armored. It has a lot of these little um, growths, you could say, on its head and body. And in overall, it's pretty decent overall. Overall decent dragon. Um, I would say possibly A tier, uh, we don't really know much about it, so I'm just gonna say A tier because I don't think it's perfect, but it does seem pretty good. This is the Flame Whipper next one. So Flame Whipper was introduced in School of Dragons first, I believe you, it is in Rise of Burke right now, could be wrong though. Um, the Flame Whipper is very gecko-like in appearance, even more than the Submar Ripper. It is quite literally based on a gecko, and it shoots large fireballs that explode when hit, uh, creating uh, creating a very large well, explosion of fire. Uh, they can move up walls, they can also fly, of course, and they are very territorial and live in packs. So these dragons are very, very dangerous and... <clears throat> They're also very fast, especially on their four feet. I would say again that this is an A tier dragon. Um, again, without a pack, they aren't as well reliant as some other dragons, but similar to the Dromillion, they can still hold their own even without a pack. So, yeah, I'm gonna say A tier for these guys. Next is the Sniffle Hunch. Sniffle Hunch is another tracker class dragon. These dragons have also a keen sense of smell and they can tell if a dragon is friend or foe simply by sniffing it. We see one dragon sniff toothless in How to Train Your Dragon 2 and it is calm after that, uh, therefore proving that it is a friend. I would honestly put this dragon again in... I would put it most likely in S tier again, because simply because uh, it doesn't really have any weaknesses or flaws. Next we have the Thunderclaw. Now these dragons are similar to Sniffle Hunches, able to carry uh, large burdens for a long period of time and do have a lot of endurance. However, once stressed, Thunderclaws do not perform well. They become disoriented, they can't fly well and they are very easy to take down when they are stressed and distracted. This is why they usually hang in packs to try to you know, find safety in numbers, however, Lone Thunderclaws don't really stand a chance against anything that's bigger than them or more dangerous than them. This is why I think Thunderclaws should go into B tier, because again, they rely on the safety of the pack. And again, if you're a dragon flying and you become stressed and can't fly, um, not, not a very good situation. Next up is the Mudraker. Mudraker is a dragon that was first featured in School of Dragons. This dragon is in design very very similar to the Thunderclaw, however it does have two horns growing on the side of its head. And instead of fire, it releases a sonic wave which then tells it uh, where exactly everything is and is able to basically see and hear with the wave. Uh, this dragon is not particularly special beside that, it doesn't really have any known weaknesses and it is known to like wet places. Uh, I am going to put this into A tier because again it's not perfect, it does have some of its flaws, but it's still a overall pretty good dragon. I am going to skip these two because I am not sure which species these are and I don't want to make any misinformation, so these two dragons I'm not going to talk about. This dragon, I believe this is an unnamed species, they still don't have an official name. Uh, they're very similar to some other species from How to Train Your Dragon 2. Overall, they do have a pretty good uh, good built body uh, and are just pretty good dragons to have around. I'm gonna put them into A tier. These two 
dragons over here. They are also unnamed, at least I believe they are unnamed, they don't have an official name yet. They are built, uh, this one is built similarly to the rain cutter, and this one is built similarly to the shovel helm and <clears throat> the thunderclaw. Overall, since we don't know too much about these dragons, I am going to put them into uh, A tier again because they don't seem to have any weaknesses, we see them fight pretty well, and they're just overall pretty good. And finally, the last dragon. This is the Hubble Grunt. The Hubble Grunt was introduced in How to Train Your Dragon 2, and this dragon can change its color depending on the mood. So if a Hubble Grunt is happy, it will be yellow, if it's curious, it will be purple, and if it's angry or aggressive, it will turn red. This is how you can identify a Hubble sorry, Hubble Grunt's colors, and they are very calm dragons actually once you show that you're not a threat. Uh, however, because of their obvious colors, uh, enemies can tell if they are aware of their surroundings or not. So if they see that a hobgobbler is yellow, they can assume that the hobgobbler doesn't know that the, it is being watched or hunted or stalked and they can easily attack it. This is why their color uh, colors are sometimes a large disadvantage. That is why I'm going to put the Hubble Grunt into B tier. Because uh, if your entire body is telling what you think without even hiding it the slightest, it is not usually the best um, tactic to have when you're in the wild and when anything larger than you can easily eat you. With that, we have come to the end of this video. This rank list took a really long time to uh, record and an even longer time to edit. So watching it, uh, if you are here at the end, thank you so much for watching it. You are a hero. Uh, if you want to support this video and me and the channel, please feel free to like the video, subscribe, share, tell people uh, about the video, tell people about uh, the channel. It really, I'm telling you, it really is what keeps the channel going and what keeps me creating videos. Again, feel free to make your own tier list. The link is in the description below. You can make your own tier list. You can discuss in the comments uh, if you agree with something, disagree with something. I would love to read it. Uh, also, please, no hate. I will not take any hate. You can talk to me, but you can't scream or bash me. That's the rule. Thank you also so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you next time. So long.